Hey there, I'm Jamie with Hazel and Ruby, and I want to show you today how our stencil masks can create awesome pieces of subway art. So we're going to start with our blank surface. This is just a little canvas that I've purchased, and I can just use it blank, I could paint it first, or I could cover it with a paper. But I'm just going to show you the process of how you create um, a quick little thing. We're going to spell love. So this is my stencil, and it is actually a mask, so it's the positive part. I'm going to put it right on my surface, just press it down. These are great because they are totally reusable. I can use them over and over again, and you'll see once I get it painted how easy it is. And then we're going to go right here. And like I said, what I love about this is that I can. We've got 15 different styles that I can mix and match. Just match the fonts. I'm using our Broadside Alpha for this one. So I place it where I want. So, you know, I got that a little bit crooked, so then I can just pick it up and kind of straighten it out a little bit. Totally repositionable and reusable. Next, I'm going to take my paint. I'm going to put a little bit on my surface. That is a pink paint. Really bright and fun. <laughs> so next, I'm just going to take my foam brush, paint right over the top here. And so I can saturate it with more paint if I want to keep the whole canvas completely covered or I can just do it a little bit transparent as well. But just to give you the idea, we'll just do one layer of paint here today. And then I'm going to take this. This is my little pin. It just helps me to get it up. So I take these letters off when it's still wet because I get crisp lines and it's also easier to clean the stencil. So you peel it up and then I put it back on my sheet. Like so. And then I'm going to use a baby wipe, or you could use a wet cloth. And I'm just going to clean it right off, and then it's ready to go for the next time. So it's simple and easy to do. And this is fun. I could also take my inks and my distressing tools afterwards and make it a, even a little bit more distressed and fun. I can add embellishments. There's just lots of possibilities. So I just place them back on the sheet exactly where I got them before and then you can use them again and again and again and again. So I love how, how quickly this you can do this. My little children that are four and nine like to do this. They love to do little cards. So it's easy for anyone, young and old. So and then we've got this final project.